If you've been planning a wedding this fall or attending one, Metro is allowing larger events starting today. But did you know that you have to have your big event approved by the Metro Health Department first? Let's go to News 4's Alexandria Adams live with how exactly this works. Alexandria. Yeah, Tracy, the new order allows 125 people at larger events. We're talking about weddings, funerals, fundraisers. But with that comes safety guidelines. Can you show us the plan for social distancing? Uh, if there's food, how will the food be uh, provided? Those are just a few of the changes people will have to show Metro Health in a written plan. Previously, those hosting events were limited to 25 people. The new addition of 100 more people is something Metro Health says is a step in the right direction. As the numbers continue to decline or uh, infection rates or the seven day trend, a lot of that, what people are doing now, for instance, wearing a mask, social distancing, that's really helping us be able to go from 25 to 125. But those in the hospitality industry, like Nathaniel Beaver, who owns the event spaces, Bell Tower and the Bridge Building say this new change doesn't really change anything for his business. The majority of all events canceled and moved to next year already. And just because our doors can now open, it's kind of too late. If we had known three months ago, your doors are going to open September 1, we could have talked about September 1, you're great. And it's not of anyone's fault, but just the way a pandemic works. It's it kind of a little too late in a sense. Extremely too late. Beaver says he and others in the hospitality industry have been working with the mayor's office to come up with solutions. The ordinance is great and we are very appreciative that the guests and clients that we still have are going to be able to have their celebration. But from an actual business impact on our industry, we are still going to lose 80, 90 percent of all revenue we had on the books for the year. While happy those who are looking to host larger events can, Beaver says the federal government needs to do more for those in the hospitality industry. Bridge Bend and Bell Tower are the most historical buildings in downtown Nashville that host events. What's going to happen when all of these aren't here because there wasn't a thought of how our industry specifically works. They kept trying to do funding and stimulus that fits one bill. One, hey, this will work for everybody. Well, it doesn't work at all for hospitality. Now, if you're interested in learning more about these safety protocols you're going to have to have if you are hosting a larger event, we have that information available for you on the News 4 app as well as WSMV.com.